Last year, the GMC shocked the medical world by announcing the new Medical Doctor Degree Apprenticeship Programme, a new route into medicine that will allow students to earn a wage while training to become a doctor. And while this initiative felt like a great step towards making medicine more accessible, there was very little information about what the program was actually like. But now, with its launch around September 2024, it's time to revisit what we know about the program, the updated requirements for 2024, and what this means for aspiring doctors. Let's get into it. Medicine is arguably the hardest degree to get into in the UK. With a record number of applicants, many talented individuals are struggling to get a place at medical school. With the current staff shortage and demands on the NHS, it's clear that something needs to be done in order to lighten that burden. And this is how the apprenticeship program came to be. This new initiative, which is set to kick off in September 2024, is designed to combine practical work with academic study, which means that students can earn a wage while they learn. The idea behind it is to make medicine more accessible, to reduce the financial burden, and to reflect the diversity of the communities that the NHS serves. For more context, check out this video here, which is a video that we recorded when the apprenticeship programme was announced. In the past year, the programme has seen significant developments. A key milestone was securing funding for the initial 200 medical apprentices. This number is projected to rise dramatically, aiming for 2,000 apprentices by the 2031-2032 cycle. The eligibility has also expanded to include students who have a non-science degree and individuals from other healthcare roles, which shows the commitment of the programme to accessibility and diversity. We know that the apprenticeship will last for five years or 60 months with a blend of on-the-job training and academic learning. Students will spend 80% of the time on clinical placement or at university lectures and 20% of the time in a non-clinical role within the NHS. Upon completion, apprentices can expect to have the exact same qualification as somebody who did the traditional medical route and can expect similar career prospects and salaries. Now, in terms of the application process, candidates must meet certain criteria in order to be eligible to apply. This includes having A, B, B at A level with at least one science subject or completing an access to medicine or access to science course within the past five years. Any degrees must also be recent within the last five years in order for them to be considered for the application. You should also have the right to live and work in England or an eligible residency status and to be able to commit to the apprenticeship and its university attendance and placement requirements. This year, the application window for the apprenticeship programme opened on the 26th of February and closed on the 3rd of March. Prospective applicants also had to attend a mandatory information session in order to be eligible to apply. Once selected, students will be invited to sit the CASPER exam around the 15th of April of the present year. For those who don't know, the CASPER exam is an online open response situational judgment test and it will be used to shortlist applicants for the interview stage, which will happen around the 20th of May. If you need to prepare for your interviews, whether it's for the apprenticeship or for the traditional medical program, do not underestimate how difficult they can be and how much preparation needs to be done. On FutureDoc's one-on-one coaching program, we do both online and in-person mock interviews, and we equip students with all of the tools that they need in order to secure a place at their first choice medical school. So considering everything that we now know about the Medical Apprenticeship Programme, let's have a look at some of the pros and cons of this new initiative. Starting off with the pros, the first thing is the financial benefits. Apprentices will earn a salary while they learn, which not only helps to mitigate the financial burden of attending university, but also provides them with financial independence and stability. Also, similar to the traditional route to medicine, there are no tuition fees to worry about. Secondly is practical experience. Apprentices will gain hands-on clinical experience quite early on, which will enhance their skills and their confidence and lead to a deeper understanding of medical concept. And thirdly is accessibility and diversity. The apprenticeship model opens the field of medicine to a broad range of individuals, including those from non-traditional background 
or those who may not have considered medicine due to financial constraints or academic barriers. And now let's take a look at some of the cons. Firstly, there is more supervision. Apprentices may take longer to reach a level of independence compared to their peers on the traditional medical program. Due to the structured nature of the apprenticeship, which includes extensive supervised work. Secondly is a more demanding schedule. The apprenticeship demands a high level of commitment with a rigid schedule that combines full-time work and study. This intensive workload can be difficult to manage and may leave little time for other commitments. And finally, there's the potential stigma. There might be concerns around the equivalence of the apprenticeship compared to a traditional medical degree. Apprentices may feel stigma or bias regarding the rigor and comprehensiveness of their training, despite the qualifications being the same. Also, employers and patients may initially question the capabilities of doctors trained through the medical apprenticeship program. Overall, there is a large positive outlook, with many people excited to see a reduction in the number of barriers to medicine. And while at FutureDoc we do agree that the apprenticeship is a nice idea with a lot of potential, the reality is that people shouldn't rest all of their hopes on this program, as it is still extremely competitive right now. Just to give you an idea, the apprenticeship program had over a thousand applicants for only 20 places. And not to mention that it still isn't proven how well the program is going to work. If you are interested in this pathway, you should regularly check NHS jobs and the UK government's apprenticeships websites to stay in the loop with future announcements. We still don't know all of the details, but we do know that apprentices will be subject to the same rigorous requirements as doctors in traditional training. So if you want to make sure that you meet all of the entry requirements, whether for the apprenticeship program or for the traditional medical program, then check out the FutureDoc website where we can help you to navigate the application process and make sure that you are successful. Thank you all for watching and I'll see you next time.